We have four different sets of binoculars here. Uh, two are Nikon, a Leopold, and then a Redfield. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give our comparison of these and kind of the differences that we've noticed. And then that way maybe give you guys some uh, ideas on which pair you would prefer and price points and all that kind of stuff. As I was looking through these, I've been a fan of Leopold's. I have a pair of Nikon binoculars at home, but they're not hunting binoculars, they're bigger ones. Um, clarity was pretty similar with all of them, but honestly the Nikon Monarch, I, I did notice a difference between all the other, well, the other three that we have. I liked the Redfields for, as far as price point. Yeah, so pricing wise, these you can pick up for around a little over $100. Um, these Leopolds, I believe these are kind of an older pair. Uh, these are all 10 by 42s. Um, I believe these were around 500 bucks years ago. Um, these are around a thousand and then I think these weren't too much off of that. So these are, like I said, these are called the Nikon Monarch HG and then this was the Nikon Premier. Um, and your field of view, uh, these are a six degree, these are 6.9, these are 5.1 and these are 6.5. And the red field for the price point these are really good binocular. Um, you really, during daylight, the difference is extremely minimal. Now, maybe for glassing a lot, these, for me, not so much Steve, I have a lot of problem with, when I glass for even five to 10 minutes over a few hours of hunting, um, I seems like I get some headache or my eyes hurt um, from glassing. So I'd imagine these would probably give me a similar issue if I use these during hunting. Um, a lot of it comes down to application too with, um, for me, I'm looking for binoculars that I'm gonna use around here mainly so I'm not glassing too far or too long, mainly for bow hunting. And those red fields for the price point, I, I myself am more in this price range <laughs> and I like them. The, the big, I would say the biggest difference I noticed right away was the weight. These are a lot heavier. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna be stalking a lot or if you're going out west and you're gonna carry them around, those really are heavy enough to make a difference in the long run. As far as clarity, I didn't notice a huge difference yeah. um, in clarity. The eye guards work a little harder with this one, with the cheaper model, the Redfield, than they do with some of these others like yeah. the Nikon. Yeah, the Leopold is like extremely smooth. Um, and quiet, that one's yep. the quietest of all of them. And then I actually was able to compare the two Nikons um, in the evening and the Monarch HGs definitely had just a little bit more light transition. So you're able to see, you know, the rack a little bit better on a deer 200 yards away whether you're able to shoot at it or not, at least you know you might be able to make it out a little bit better on what you're looking at, um, especially being the background of some corn or beans or something of that nature. Um, so even though this is, has a 6.9 degree view, um, it actually feels like it's a tighter view than that, just because of the quality uh, of the lenses here. So this does have like the field flattening, so it's a very crisp, picture that you have um, so it, those are a really good option uh, but again obviously price point wise these are pretty pricey these are actually really good for middle of the road 500 bucks um, Leopold's good quality you know uh, light transition all that is is really good on these two um, and then again we step all the way down here this would be nice to pick up if you already have a good set but you want another set that's, you know, for leaving in the pickup truck or something like that, this is a really good set for that price point and, and still gives you a really good uh, picture quality. Yeah, I, I do notice, um, depending on your bino harness, whether or not you, you have a separate harness for them or if you're using a, a safety harness that has them, uh, 
this might be a little trickier for it uh, to get your clip down in there. There's not much room to maneuver. It's made more for that flat nylon strap, it looks like, where all three of these all have bigger connecting points. Yeah, these Leopolds actually have a release, so you can actually just pop those right off, and then there's a decent amount of room there. So that is nice for those. Yeah. Um, and then the rest, the straps just go through. Uh, oh, and one other thing, which I don't remember if any of these have ever had these on it when I first got them or not, but uh, they come with these lens covers on the ends here. I will say I've noticed uh, they fall out pretty easily. If you have them on and you're walking out to the stand or whatever, uh, you get out to the stand, one of them's hanging and one of them's in. Um, so those could be a little bit better, but they're not that bad. Um, those, I actually just get scope covers that I put on the tips of those to keep rain snow out when you're walking or just sitting there. Um, they're kind of nice. It's kind of just a, a jerry-rigged way up of, you know, covering those lenses versus that rubber cover that they give you. I did notice just looking through all of them with the sun coming down, we noticed there was a big difference with the higher end uh, Monarchs cutting the glare down from the sun compared to the others and one thing I did notice even though these eyepieces all look about the same I had an easier time getting into these to get a good focus a good right. feel than I did with these almost like eye relief on a scope uh, this didn't seem to have any issues with it that I had to get just right to get the full field of right. view so there you go so yeah we just wanted to do a quick little video show you guys the the different options here price points our experience so that way if you happen to be looking for a pair or anything um, this is our information on the ones we do have and if you have any questions or anything go ahead and hit us up in the comment section and we'll try to answer anything we can or you know if we know somebody that does have a pair that maybe you're looking at we can try to get some info back to you all right thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and we'll get some more content for you soon yep good luck hunting